And on part one of today's Local 6 Legal Line, we'll be talking with the attorneys from the Bryant Law Center in Paducah and Louisville, Mark Bryant, Emily Roark. The topic is nursing home abuse. But before we get to your questions, uh, Mark got a very special event coming up to honor your Uncle Albert. Yeah, this really is pretty neat, Dave. Uh, next Thursday, which is May the 13th, we're having a tribute to the life of Albert Jones. Our law firm, the Bryant Law Center, is sponsoring that. It's at Albert Jones Park which is at 23rd and Joe Bryan Drive here in Paducah. It's not too far from the railroad shops, but it's on 23rd and Joe Bryan. And uh, we're expecting a big crowd of people there. We've got the 101st Airborne uh, uh, Screaming Eagle Band. Uh, they've got a brass quintet that's going to come in and play patriotic music, which Albert loved. And that starts at a quarter till noon on the, uh, on the Thursday the 13th. And then uh, after that, we've got the Paducah Tillman High School uh, 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 choir is going to sing over there, and they're going to sing uh, patriotic music, and they're going to sing the Amen Chorus, and uh, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, and just some great music. And on top of that, we have the governor of Kentucky, who was a friend of Albert's and is a friend of mine. Andy Bashir is going to come and speak to the, to the crowd. We've got uh, former Supreme Court Justice Bill Cunningham, who is a great friend of Albert's and of ours, uh, is going to come and speak. We've got uh, Senator Dorsey Ridley, who was Albert's roommate in the General Assembly. And uh, uh, we've just got some really neat people that are going to come and say nice things about Albert. And it's going to be a big event. And it's only going to last an hour. And so if you've got lunchtime available, I hope you can come because we expect a lot of people to be there, but it's going to be worth it. And it's going to be a great tribute to a great man who spent a lifetime doing everything he could for the citizens of our community. I think it's going to be amazing that you can combine all this in just one hour in a tribute to, uh, to Uncle Alper because he really did a lot in his life. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, though. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll move on to our questions, so don't forget that event. But we're talking about nursing home abuse today, and we've got about a minute left in this first segment. But are there room requirements for nursing homes that I should look for, says Jason? Yeah. Who wants that one? Yes, I'll take that. Yes, there are room requirements. So if you have a loved one in a nursing home, there's special dimensions that they're supposed to have. They should have a window that looks outside. There should be uh, no more than two people in the room in two separate beds, of course. Um, if, if there should be like a dresser, a drawer, you know, for their clothes. Um, that, that's just a few of them. If you have concerns about anything like that, feel free to call our office or call, or call an attorney. But you, you have to have certain requirements. It can't be a closet. Um, so again, if you have any concerns, call us, but make sure that there are, um, that there, the conditions are clean and uh, that there's enough space. Okay, well, we have come to the end of our first segment, but we are still talking nursing home abuse, and if you have questions about that, give us a call at one 208 We'll continue with uh, the Honorable Mark Bryant and Emily Roark after the break, and more of your questions on the next edition of Legal Line coming up next.